everyone. We are going to be drawing Poppy today. Yay, that's so exciting. I love her. She's so cute. Um, okay, so we are going to first get something to draw on. Get a pencil or a paper. If you've never drawn with me before, um, my name is Renee Galvin. I am an author and illustrator of children's books. And I teach you how to draw by using basic shapes that you already know. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different because it is Poppy and it is not one of my own drawings. So we will go from there. Let's get you set up so you can see. And here we go. Without this reflection. There you go. Alright, so with Poppy we're going to start with her eyes. And her eyes are kind of close together. So we're going to start. They're almost a circle shape. We're gonna go two circles, kind of close together. One's a little bit bigger than the other here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to flatten them out a little bit here. We're gonna take them and do her eyelashes. Thicken this one up. And do her eyelashes here. Then she has the circle in the middle, a tiny circle, and then a smaller one that doesn't go all the way around, it just touches that circle. So it's like this. Then her nose is a really cute, funny shape. It goes. then down and then it actually goes all the way out here so we're gonna make it a little bit bigger so what we did was we made a curvy line line there. So that's like Poppy's nose. And then we're going to do her smile. And she has a little um, outside here. She kind of has a little swoop and a swoop. And then we go down. And her smile is kind of a straight smile in this picture. We are going to figure out where her ears need to be. Her ears are really big. So they go from about her eyebrow, which will be about here, to down to her chin, about her mouth. So we're going to have her ears be about this big. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of judge that and say, okay, this is about how big her ears need to be. And then we're going to take this line and we're going to do a U shape. So we're going to go. Poppy's ears are going to go from here, let's see, about here, up, curving down, down, and out. A little like squiggly line, same thing on this side. Big, swoop it down, and go in here. Now, it's looking a little bit more like Poppy now, but what's going to make it look a lot like her is the hair. So, and actually, we're going to scooch this line down a little bit. Curve it down a little bit more. Bring up her ears a little bit. This is why we have erasers. Okay. So, with Poppy, her hair comes over this eye. So it comes down and out, and it goes into like a V shape. Some lines. Then we follow this line down and out. 
and it goes all the way past her ear. So we're gonna go over here, do another one. This is where her head connects to her ear. I'm just gonna do squiggly lines in here. And this will get Poppy's hair. Okay, so on this side, I'm gonna go out. Go in here. So we just kind of swooped it down and made a little swoop here. This is our head. So then we're gonna do this part right here, which is her headband. And her headband actually goes from this point over. So this will be where one of her flowers are. And it goes a loop, a loop, and a loop. Three loops. And then she has a triangle, a triangle, and a triangle. And then we go over, we do the same thing. So for these are going to be a little bit sideways. Triangle, triangle, and we'll do a triangle down here. And bring her headband around. Down here is our headband. And then one more flower. One, two, three. And then we're going to go up with her hair. So we're going to go, her hair goes kind of this way in this picture, up until a point. Let's see. Let's get in a little bit more. Okay, let's try this again. we go. Bring her. This is my favorite part of her, this little part of her dress. So you do a swoopy line, swoop line, and a curve. And the same thing here. Two parallel lines in there. And there you have Poppy. Now this is a quick one and I could go back up and touch up what needs to be touched up but that is how you do a Poppy from Trolls. And you use those basic shapes where you start out with your eyes. Oh, I forgot her eyebrow. You start out with your eyes here and this one, just so you can figure out, because they're really close. Um, so you want to get them pretty close in there with your circles. This shape is more of a up and down wave. Your U, your U, and these are kind of circle shapes, your loop-de-loops. So thank you so much for watching this drawing of Poppy. Oh, yay, I'm so glad. You know, I don't normally do um, characters from 
books, but I thought, you know, it might be fun to do one every once in a while. So that way that you guys see them and you recognize them and you know who they are rather than just make up our own. That's how I started anyways. So, um, by drawing Disney characters actually. So, but, um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys loved it and I can't wait to see your poppies later in the comments. So leave a comment below and let me see them. Thanks so much guys. Bye.